Welcome back. We are going to pray now. We're going to begin by praying and saying sorry for the things that we've done this week and asking God to forgive us. And we're going to receive his assurance of forgiveness. Then we're going to pray the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray uh, in communion with our friends and brothers and sisters in congregations around the world, uh, in Catholic churches, Orthodox churches, Pentecostal churches, Baptist churches, wherever followers of Jesus are meeting together to worship this morning. They're praying this prayer and we're going to pray it with them. And then finally, I'm going to lead us in praying for ourselves and our world this week. And we are going to uh, pray for that together. So why not join in with me? The first two sets of prayers will have words on the screen and the final one you can join in with by saying, Amen. Let's pray. Merciful God, we confess that this week we have sinned in what we have thought, said, done and not done. We have not loved you with our whole heart and mind and strength. We have not loved others as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive us, help us and show us what we should be so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, the scripture says that anyone who says that they do not have sin, that is that they never do anything wrong, is deceiving themselves. They don't know what the truth is. But anyone who comes to God and confesses their sin will find that he's faithful and just to forgive them and to cleanse them from all unrighteousness. So if you've prayed those words this morning and you've named things that you want to bring to God in your heart, then it's my joy and privilege to say to you that the Almighty God forgives you and cleanses you. Go in peace. We're going to continue and pray the words that Jesus taught us to pray now. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. And forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Finally, we're going to pray for ourselves, for our world, for our families and friends this week. Let's pray. Father, we want to bring our world to you. We thank you that you are not tossed and turned by the slings and arrows of outrageous conspiracies or accusations of fortune and misfortune of... Uh, good tidings and bad. We want to thank you, Lord, that in the midst of all of these storms which we experience, you are strong like a rock. We want to thank you as we enter a season in which so many in our own country have received their vaccinations from COVID. We thank you for the grace you have provided us in this. Thank you for the falling infection rates. Thank you for the falling death rates. Thank you for hearing the prayers of your people. Thank you for those hands and those minds you have shaped and used to deliver us from this hour. And yet we recall, almighty God, our brothers and sisters, our friends and our neighbours who are not so fortunate as to be in a position where their countries have vaccinated them. Whether through incompetence or through misfortune, they have not had access to the same resources we have not had, we have had. And Lord, we pray for them. We pray, Lord, that you would provide for them. We pray, Lord, that you would heal them. We pray that you would protect them. We pray for our neighbours and our friends in Europe and across the continent, fearful of yet more waves of COVID, anxious at their low rates of vaccination. And we pray for their leaders. We pray that you would give them wisdom and grace and humility. We pray for their people, that you would protect their bodies and heal their minds. We pray for those fearful that they would be comforted and we pray for our own country, Lord, that you would continue to lead us out of this dark hour and restore our minds and our hearts and our souls in worship and in joy to you. Lord, we pray for schools and for hospitals, for businesses, for all of those areas of our lives, our economy, our culture, which have been so ravaged by the pandemic, Lord, in the mental consequences, in the unseen physical consequences, in COVID itself. And we pray, Lord, that you would heal them and that you would deliver us. Lord, we pray, Lord, for those leading us. We pray that you would give them confidence and courage to lead us through this and out of this. And Lord, we pray that you would silence those voices which seek to restrict and restrain worship 
and prayer and ministry in this country, Lord. We pray for politicians that you would give them grace and wisdom to know how to govern wisely in the areas they have been entrusted with. But Lord, how to leave alone those areas that are none of their concern. And Lord, we pray for the church that you would restore her, that you would restore her in prayer, that you would restore her in power, that you would restore her in love and in hope that she would once again reach out to a world that is suffering with the message of Jesus Christ. We ask this in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please stay with us for a talk from the Bible.